Hello, my name is Ray Bravo. I'm presenting a scenic design for Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim, and I proudly represent Troop 4043. So what I wanted to do with this design was to separate the world of the narrator and the rest of the characters to make it feel like he is reading us a story. Um, he's reading us a fairy tale, and these fairy tale creatures or fairy tale characters, which are um, behind the proscenium, are coming to life from the story which he's telling us. So in front, there is a library of all individually handmade books, and the narrator would be sitting um, in a chair set to the side, or he could also be walking around depending on what the director wants. And he would be reading us, the audience, a story. And then behind uh, that library is the book world or the story from that book which he is reading to us. Um, I wanted uh, to have a pop-up book sort of paper theater, theater feel to make it like these characters are real and coming to life from the story of the narrator is telling. So all of these um, all of these trees are made out of paper and the words on the trees would be taken from the fairy tales which these characters are from, Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, etc. And in the front we have the houses of the characters at the beginning of the show, Cinderella, Jack, and then the baker. And these are would be open books with a, a painting in the front, like a, a picture book or a storybook, and to once again make it feel like these characters are coming to life before our eyes. Then behind that, we have Rapunzel's Tower, which is a stack of books with an open book at the top to give it sort of um, a peak. Behind that, we have a stationary, um, a stationary platform to give the directors and the actors more freedom, and it would be used for scenes like on the steps of the palace. Behind the trees in the back, we have, there would be a scrim for lighting. Here are some uh, examples of lighting that I drew up. This one is sort of more of a nighttime feel. Um, sort of, I wanted the purple to make it feel whimsical and mysterious. Then there is a green for foliage. And this is just an example, there would be more lighting. And thank you.